Hey guys, let's look at editing a 4K clip into a 1080p timeline on Final Cut Pro. So here's a 4K clip that I've downloaded from Blackmagic's website. And to start editing it, I'm just going to click this button, this new project button, and I'm going to give it a name. And one thing you're going to want to pay attention to is this Use Custom Settings button. So I click that, and then it gives me all these other options for my timeline. And in this case, I'm going to change my video format from 4K to 1080p. And then my frame rate is the same as my clip, so that looks good. And I'm going to hit OK. Now, up here in the top left-hand corner, it tells me the settings of my timeline. If this doesn't say 1080p, if it says something different, then you can actually change it. So I just select the project over in the library and then go over to your inspector and it'll give you the settings for that particular project. But if you want to change them, you can just click modify and then it brings up all those options again. So I can set my video format to whatever I want. Um, as long as there's no clips already on the timeline, I can go ahead and change my frame rate and just some other important details. So all this is the way I want it, so I'm just going to click OK. So now if I drop my clip into the timeline, you'll notice that it automatically reframes the 4K clip to fit the 1080p resolution. And so if that's what you wanted to do, that's great. You're done. You can export and be on your way. But I actually want to scale this up. And so to do that, make sure the clip is selected in the timeline and then click this transform button right here. And these little purple dots show up around the edge of the clip. And I can use these to scale my image and I can even click and drag and maybe reposition it to fit where I want it to show the most. The one thing you're going to want to pay attention to, however, is over here in the inspector with this scale option. You do not want to exceed 200% because if you do, then you are essentially going bigger than the 4K resolution and things become pixelated and uh, a little bit lower quality. So just don't go over the 200% mark and you should be just fine. So let's see, I want this to show him a little bit closer right here. So I'm going to bring this down and scale it up. So he's filling up that frame. Looks good. And that's the way I want it. So I'm happy with that. I can go ahead and uh, click done up here. And I've successfully reframed my shot using the extra real estate that the 4K shot provides in a 1080p timeline. So now it's your turn to try it out. As always, if you have any questions, let me know. Have fun and good luck.